You want to see something cool? If you've seen a few of my videos, you might have caught the in the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve, if you have a plain text node, you can add a custom slider to that and actually have that slider value be shown as the main text. And then you can come in there, you know, change the size, change stuff like uh, you can add these shading elements to style it however you want. And that will be driven by this slider. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, don't worry, I'm going to do the entire thing from scratch soon. But what if you're doing this and instead of just that text, you want to tag on a little dollar sign so that however you change this slider, um, it is that number, but it is that number dollars. How? It's super simple. Uh, this part might actually be quicker than the first part. Ooh, but I'm also, oh, I forgot. I'm going to show you something else. I'm also going to show you uh, how to substitute um, this uh, dollar sign for anything else, any other symbol, any other text, including like user defined text. Uh, just some cool stuff I felt like showing off in Fusion. So let's do it. I am scrapping everything and I'm making a new text plus node. I will preview that and there's nothing there. If we type in here text, la 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 then it shows up like a normal text node. <laughs> now I've shown off in a few random videos in different places. Um, uh, in the inspector for any node, you know you have all these uh, custom fields, custom sliders that control how the node works, right? That's just like basic, right? the controls for the node. But you can add controls to any node. So if I right click either on the node itself or on the name of the node in the inspector, in this right click menu, I can go to edit controls and in here, I am going to uh, name this something like value select. A uh, capitalization is important. I'm going to change this to a slider control. Uh, the number is on by default, although we'll change that for a future one. Um, slider control. I'm going to make this an integer um, so that it doesn't include any uh, anything after um, the period or the, the decimal point rather. And I'm just going to do a range of zero to a hundred. And if I click OK, then it will add this little user panel here. And you got a little slider that goes from zero to a hundred. Now um, you'll notice that the text I have typed in here, that's not changing at all. Just cause I made a control, um, that control isn't connected to anything else in the node, but we can do that. If I come to this text, get rid of that. I'm going to right click in this bar and go to expression. And then we can just type in value select completely as is before. And then boom, now we got that zero. Now we slide up and down and that is reflected. One important thing to note, uh, this is, you know, entry level expression stuff. This is how expressions work. Um, I'm able to type in that exact name because this control exists on the same node. If I was to um, create, oh, let's do it. If I was to create another text plus node um, and I wanted to uh, pull in the control from this first one, if I go to the second, do the same thing I did before. If I just type in value select, and spell it correctly, uh, uh, nothing will happen. It like, I am previewing that text now. And even if I go and change the value, it updates on text one, but not on text two, because on a single node itself, it will look for this value sort of within itself. But on a different node, I need to point to this first node. So on text two, uh, before you value select, I just type in text one dot. So it'll look at text one, the node, text uh, or value select the parameter. If I click off now, now it is also pulling in that value. This is helpful. One way I use this a lot um, is if I'm building out a really complicated thing. A lot of times I will have a plain like transparent background node to sort of uh, start my comp and I will add a lot of custom controls here and point to them from other controls or I'll publish them and you know, stuff gets crazy quick. So if you have the control on the node itself, you don't need that text one sort of pointer, but if it's on a different node, you do now. This is, you know, a complete expression. It's pointing to that value. But um, specifically in this styled text field for text plus nodes, um, you can do really cool expression stuff. Um, one thing is the entry level of what I showed off earlier. What if I only want this to be dollars? Then all I need to do is a quotation mark, a dollar sign, quotation mark, and then two periods. And boom, it added that quotation mark. And then those two periods just mean like, and like do this thing and this thing. So, hey, that works. But if I were making this like a title for like a third party or someone else to use, uh, it can kind of be a hassle uh, to just like publish this expression and have to go in and tinker it around and stuff. So what I could actually do is right click and add a new edit control and this time change it to text. We're gonna do text edit control and I'm just gonna make this a one line and I will do this um, like 
uh, text edit. I will click OK, and if I go back to user, now we have a single little text box here. So if I type in uh, that dollar sign, go back to this main thing, instead of that specific uh, uh, dollar sign in quotations, now I can type in text edit. And because it's a text field, which functions a little differently, it's not like a number value, which it's used to, I'm going to do text edit dot value. And if I click away, oh, nothing will change. Um, because it's the exact same thing. But if I go back to that dollar sign and change it to any other symbol, now it's that symbol. I could change that to any um, other like currency, that sort of deal. Or this is also really useful if I get rid of that and go through the process again, edit control uh, text. I'm just going to call this suffix text edit control one line. OK. Then if I go back and do the same thing on the opposite side, so dot dot uh, you you can space or not dot dot uh, suffix dot value if I go back to that value and type in something like dogs ooh uh, you'll notice haha <laughs> it has that 50 and then it has dogs and you can decide how many dogs you have but lo and behold um, there's not a space there you could always add in space before dogs or you could go back to your expression and before that suffix dot value do that quotation mark space quotation mark period uh, period period and then we'll add a space in there so now hey how, how many dogs if you're making a graph about dogs or whatever th th this is the big strength of this is that now you can publish both this value select to the end user and the suffix so if you don't want dogs you want cats or uh, tacos tacos this is a really cool way to jump into expressions and thinking of it in a different way. A lot of times expressions are just numbers, um, but expressions in this like styled text field, super powerful. Um, and I don't think I've just shown uh, specifically that off. I, I was recently doing a bunch of like graph stuff um, and this is a really valuable way to do that. You could do, hey, uh, 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 to uh, $32 tacos. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. I wanted to make a quick little video showing off something cool in Fusion. And hey, uh, also cool, all this is on one node. I've been thinking about doing different videos uh, showing off how much you can pack into one node. And a big way you can pack a lot into one node is by adding these custom controls. Super powerful, super flexible. I like it a lot. Hopefully you do too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.